What's up? What's up? Welcome to the Boss Ladies Live Radio Show Speaker Studios, sponsored by Boss Ladies Inc. <laughs>
catch me when I fall. I've changed my
make it mine. I'm on a hustle. I'm on a grind. Everything I see, I make it mine. I'm on a hustle. I'm on a grind. Everything I see, I make it mine. I'm on a hustle. I'm on a grind. Everything I see, I make it mine. I'm on a hustle. I'm on. I've come to terms with the fact that my future might not involve people I'm around now. I get tired of doing this every time I try something new. Sometimes I had to walk away from what I want to find what I deserve. made mistakes in my life I've learned from my bad choices I'll know better next time Don't mention a person's past mistakes when they're trying to change That's like throwing rocks at them while they're struggling to climb a mountain. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Boss Ladies Live Radio Show Speaker Studio, sponsored by Boss Ladies Inc. Welcome back. Welcome back to another show. Um, thanks to everybody that tunes in, listens, checks in, you know, liking and sharing the link. I do appreciate it. Um, you have to excuse me. I'm a little tired tonight, so <laughs> I won't keep you long. I'm just going to go straight in to seven habits that make people seem less intelligent. Because like I said last night, I've been noticing a lot of intelligence, but intelligence is not being used in the proper perspective where people can be more receptive in a positive way. I did a Dale Carnegie series in season three, and I did talk about how nobody wants to take orders. I talked about, you know, uh, nobody wants to be bossed around, you know, and Everybody should be able to do something that they want to do instead of what they're made to do and things like that. We talked about a little bit about how to support each other better. It's a collective as a team, different things like that. But um, these seven habits that make people seem less intelligent, I, I, I agree. You know, I read the article before I actually put, provided it for the show and I'm noticing some things. So I'm going to run through it and then I'm going to read the article. One of the things is with these Facebook lives, you know, dressing down in professional situations or important events It's very important to look the part, you know, and don't forget that this is business. I know that in the society, you know, business casual is acceptable more than ever. 
when there was a time where if you wasn't basically dressed up in a suit or, you know, a nice blazer, a tie, you know, different things like that, you wasn't taken seriously. Now people look at professionalism and performance and behavior. So that was more important than look because, you know, looks can be very deceiving. And that's kind of like judging the book by its cover, you know, that old saying. And so we got away from the person as an individual, what they're trying to put out there. So it's good to fit the occasion, just like when you go for a job interview and it's a certain job, I think you should dress for the job that you're filling out the application for. I mean, if you got a job in a factory, I don't think you need to go to the interview dressed up in a suit and a tie because that's not the kind of job that you're going to be doing. You're going to be doing jeans or a t-shirt and steel toe boots, you know, different things like that versus an office job where you're required to dress more professional, like a shirt, a blazer, a collared shirt, you know, khakis, you know, you know, a comfortable pair of slacks, you know, with the shows and all that in your, in your soles and all that. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that go. You got to be comfortable at the end of the day, but don't get so comfortable that you don't look the part because you trick people with that and they don't know how to take you. And the slouching, you know, um, we're guilty of that. You know, the slouching, not sitting up straight, bending over, you know, just, just, you know, it stands out, you know, as okay, you're really not serious. And the power and authority are really expressed through heightened space. So if you're not leveling off at eye level, um, waist level, shoulder level, what you're doing, like your computer is below your toe, but you're sitting above your computer. I don't think that's good posture. You know, it may cause some back pain. You might have carpal tunnel if you're not hitting it, you know, putting your hands on the keyboard correctly. All those different things count. And then the nodding and the head tilts. I mean, really? Um, talk nodding i was raised if you nodded that was a form of disrespect and in business i think that's you know in a business sense that's not a way to communicate i mean it, it denotes submissiveness you're not really into it you're just nodding going through the motions you're really not interested and that's what it kind of shows you're not smiling you're kind of blinking you're nodding things like that so that's not showing that you're in engaged in the conversation or the meeting that you're in and then misusing words and phrases. If you're not sure about a word, you know, I make jokes about it all the time. But I do say I can't really pronounce this word pretty good. I'm going to give it a shot. And if it don't work out, you know, I laugh at myself. And, you know, it makes it better for me because now I'm not looking stupid and foolish. And so I'm really admitting to my mistakes. And there's not a lot of people that do that. I think that stands out as, you know, that misusing, that could be bad communication for some people. You know, a lot of people take first impressions as the last impression, which we've all heard that before. And you mess up one time, people just not going to deal with you, you know, or some people you can mess up a couple times and after so many times, they're like, I don't really know. So be careful with the words and phrases that you use. And then... You know, your language softeners and outsourcing success. We're going to be talking a little bit about that. Well, I'm not sure about this idea, but, you know, you may you may push past someone else that has more of a confidence. And posture is very important in terms of business, selling somebody, telling somebody about your product, telling somebody about your movement, different things like that. And it's just how you come off. If you could be professional as possible, if you have any issues with that, I do have some tools that you could use to kind of better your um, experience in interviewing and meeting with people and do a business, et cetera, et cetera. And then, you know, people are very judgmental. I said that in the beginning. People judge you by how you look. People judge you if you got too much hair out of place and you're just just breaking down everything about a person, but you never really sat down and have a conversation with them face to face. You know, most of the people that I know and, you know, as far as being in business, you know, I met them online. I haven't really met them in person. I can count on my hands how many people that actually came to, you know, the actual physical contact with me to say, okay, I know this person by this. I know this person by that. I actually seen how they move and different things like that. And I see that they're the same way they was that I seen them on social media. So don't be too over judgmental. And then 
using you know profanity you know i see some radio stations like myself i don't really cuss too much i might say a couple things but i'm trying my best not to because i i had a lot of profanity in my former life you know i didn't care what came out of my mouth it was like no filter but now i noticed that you know the bad words it doesn't make you look good it makes you look negative so try to calm down the negativity and that's my rule for the show you know keep your cussing ministries and your cussing organizations to a minimum because we want to have a positive show. This is about positivity. This is not about how tough you are. This is not about how good you can cuss. But it's educational, it's informational, and most information is not being cussed out by a page on the newspaper. So we need to watch those things. So on that note, we're going to see what this article has to say. And we're coming from www.healthyway.com slash content slash habits dash that dash make dash people dash seem dash less dash intelligent slash seven habits that make people seem less intelligent so let's get our edu in our lives it's surprisingly easy to do things that make you look unintelligent in public here's a list of the most common mistakes and how to avoid them No one wants to attract attention for appearing stupid. It's not something to strive for. We all prefer to be the best and the brightest in our personal and professional lives. There's a reason that one of our worst fears is public speaking. We're terrified we'll make a mistake that most that makes us look foolish in front of others. It's embarrassing to look dumb, but you'd be surprised at how easy it is to do. Try as we might, sometimes we engage in self-sabotaging behaviors that undermine our authority and make others scoff at our intellects. The worst part is that there are very common human traits we're all prone to. The key to avoiding them, though, is self-awareness. With just a few simple tweets, tweaks to your social habits, you can make yourself look sharper and more competent in no time. With that in mind, let's look at the worst of these habits while we have them and how we can fix them so that those around us will see us for how bright we are. Dressing down in professional situations or important events. Who doesn't want to be dressed comfortably at all times? In modern society, business casual is more accepted than ever. But don't forget the business part. If you dress sovereignly or wear clothing that doesn't fit the occasion or is ill-fitting, you can expect to be looked at with disapproval. If you don't have a look on your sense of style or a lock, it can hurt you. A 2014 study from the Journal of Experimental Psychology put 128 men of diverse age and backgrounds through simulated business negotiations. The big reveal? Those who wore suits were perceived as more professional and assertive. Those in casual attire were more unsure in their delivery and failed to attract similar respect from their peers. So before you walk out the door, do a double take in the mirror. Simply ask yourself, is this really right for the event I'm attending? If the answer is no, or you find you don't have the proper attire in your wardrobe, it's time to go shopping. Slouching. We're all guilty of hunching over our screens, our books, or anything else that holds our attention. It's to the point that if someone sits up straight, it stands out as unusual. However, slouching may cause more than back pain. Check out the video below to see why you should sit up straight more often, and you can find that on YouTube. Excessive nodding and head tilts. It may sound odd. But how you hold your head in a business meeting or casual conversation can radically alter how others view you. Goldman notes that this can be an issue that especially undermines women's confidence. One example is head tilting, which is fine in small doses, but when excessively denotes submissiveness. It's like my puppy who I used to take for walks, she says. When he'd see a great big dog, he'd tilt his head as if to say, go ahead, bite me, hurt me. Because you're bigger, I know you could anyway. It's a really subconscious view of vulnerability. Goldman adds that excessive head nodding is also a no-no. It's a nonverbal cue that says, I'm listening. But women tend to nod our heads like little bobblehead dolls. (laughs) It just looks like we're agreeing with everything. Because men tend to nod only when they agree, but we nod to encourage someone to keep speaking... So that makes us look like we're agreeing with everything and don't have an idea of our own. 
Communication success strategist and body communication expert Sharon Saylor notes other things to avoid. Repeatedly looking down makes others view us as shy, while continually looking up can make us appear aloof and arrogant. She offers a simple fix. Always keep your chin parallel to the ground. Misusing words and phrases and verbal pauses. We all want to impress, so adding some fancy words to our election will make people take notice. This can backfire horribly, however, if you don't have a good grasp on the words you actually use. You wind up looking pretentious and foolish. And it's not just misusing fancy words that can make us look stupid, but common words and phrases as well. Harvard cognitive scientist and linguist Steven Pinker explored the most commonly fumbled words and phrases in his 2015 book, The Sense of Style, and it's illuminating look at how easy it is to get tripped up over everyday language. Common blunders include confusing plural words for singulars, criterion versus criteria, datum versus data, or words easily mistaken for each other, disinterested versus uninterested, Fortuitous versus fortunate. Hmm, I gotta look those up. I didn't even see that. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the prize offenders is literally the word literary, which is constantly being used mistakenly for figuratively. It's been abused so much that Merriam Webster and Cambridge dictionaries are now acknowledging its informal usage. Another way words can backfire is the verbal pause. Sailor says the excessive injection of ah, uh, uh, ah, uh, you know, and basically all undermine our authority, but it, it a common error. I've been to corporations where the majority of people there use the word basically. They don't realize that it's not used in common everyday language in the business world, and it makes them look less intelligent. Language softeners and outsourcing success. Sailor also cautions against what she calls a language softener, self-deprecating comments like, well, I'm not sure about this idea, but may cause your contribution to be passed up for someone else's more confident pitch. She also adds that these types of statements minimize what you say next. It makes you look less intelligent. To avoid this and other self-sabotaging issues, she recommends taking several deep breaths, which help clear your mind, relax your face, and regain your focus. Having said that, she warns to avoid excessive mouth breathing, which is also denoted as a sign of lower intelligence. Goldman discussed another concept that can hinder success in the workplace, which tends to affect women more than men. She calls it outsourcing success, or the inability to accept a compliment. If one deflects praise for their work by replying along the lines of anyone could have done it or it was my team, this tends to make them look less confident, competent, and less smart. So when someone compliments you, the best thing you can do is say thank you and own that success. Being overly judgmental. If you think ripping on someone you dislike will make you look better in the eyes of others, think again. In fact, it's one of the most self-destructive habits to engage in if you're trying to get ahead at your job. Gossiping makes you untrustworthy. A lack of compassion is often seen in tandem with a lack of intelligence. Lacking the ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes generally means you're oblivious to your own faults. Not only that, but it makes people less likely to interact with you as they realize they could also be in the firing line. Another reason to avoid judgmentalism Sometimes our negative assumptions are based on inaccurate information, and when you're eventually confronted with the fact that your comments were off base, you look twice as foolish. And don't be surprised to find out that others are talking negatively about you too. Using profanity at work. Despite recent studies show that those that curse are the smartest, using profanity at work still isn't a good look. This is the biggest no-brainer on the list. We realize the occasional on-the-job curse word is pretty inevitable, and it can diffuse tension at the office and take the air out of the situation, but excessive cursing is still perceived by many as lacking in class. In a 2012 Career Builder survey, 64% of employers said they had a negative view of employees who curse, and 57% said they'd be less likely to promote cursing workers to higher positions. 
In other words, if you're looking for a new job and drop the F bomb during the interview, don't go don't count on getting a call back. <laughs> Keeping all these pointers in mind will make your daily interactions far more positive and beneficial in your life, both personally and professionally. Just remember to be the best version of yourself. You can be to help improve how intelligent you're seen in the eyes of others and yourself. And whenever you're in doubt about how you look in public, always remember to breathe. Michael Taylor. And that is our EDU for our lives. Thank you so much. Yeah, y'all. So when we come back, we're going to do some quote for the day. Get on up out of here. Didn't want to keep you long. Um, you already know what time it is. You and May Award. Um, the Music Awards is up for voting. If you haven't checked that out, um, listen to last night's show. All that information is on there, where to go, the website, and all those different types of things. Let me know if you need the actual link. I can type that in for you in the chat room. The UMA Awards is November 17, 2018. And we will see you in Atlanta, Georgia at the 595 Event Center. And definitely Boss Lady Show will be there. So um, stay tuned, guys. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> Stay ice cold with no slipping. Gifted, heavily gifted with flow vision. Gifted, heavily gifted with flow vision. Gifted, heavily gifted with flow vision. I grow swift, stay ice cold with no slipping. Soul missions and I'm heavily gifted with flow vision. I grow swift, stay ice cold with no slipping. Spit venom, some ice holes have no vision. They miss pipping, no right roads, so they skipping. Been getting paper, I fold in old kitchens. They been missing, no tight mode, the volition. Been tripping, no right porn, they still fishing. Still snitching, feds and state, they still listen. Still bipping, spitting, they flows, no real rhythm. I'm a real nigga, no stomach virus, still shitting Born from a barrel of killers, but still living Fell down, had to stack and rebuild while in prison Bread from the walkers of Thompson's, cold living Bought my truck, no miles, one vision Mom and pops told me I special, I have a mission But I didn't know I had to do 20 years to get it Cause I'm gifted, heavily gifted with flow vision Gifted, heavily gifted with flow vision Gifted, heavily gifted with flow vision I grow swift, stay ice cold with no slipping Gifted, heavily gifted with flow vision Gifted, heavily gifted with flow vision Gifted, heavily gifted with flow vision I grow swift, stay ice cold with no slipping Second child of three, was I a blessing? Or was a blessing of being second, me no seconds So affected by a mold that was so reckless Feeling so rejected, having the paper shows the record Cold and restless, y'all clothed and I'm naked But I'm convinced, I gotta show them who the best is And I ain't wasting the bar, spit it till I'm breathless Show a motherfucker heart is bigger than his chest is Gotta give it all I got till they get it Do it non-stop, aim it like a weapon Never be on lessons, calculating steps in So they can recognize my quest without question Silly nigga speaking, ain't nothing but dead wind Gifted with the heat, no to fight next to Ken. The game's giving me the thing, put the bread in Which means, yeah, I'm finna fuck, but I ain't put the head in Gifted, heavily gifted with flow vision Gifted, heavily gifted with flow vision Gifted, heavily gifted with flow vision I grow swift, stay ice cold with no slipping Gifted, heavily gifted with flow vision Gifted, heavily gifted with flow vision Gifted, heavily gifted with flow vision I grow swift, stay ice cold Never can tell how the journey will end The same going where you left below with no friends The mission getting tough and the vision getting rough Strong go to survive with just got no one to depend Never you gave up, you got it striving to the end Never you gave up, cause you are deserve to end Never you gave up, never you gave up Never, 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 never you gave up Life was set a teacher I heard this word from a preacher You keep chasing your dream like a mystery Striving how to reach her Born rich, you got all you ever want and need Everything at your disposal So your life's easier And even sweeter And everybody need her 
bed, how could it be that? The richer get the richer, the hip are on the weaker and weaker. Condition can never really get better. We are all chasing our dreams, trying to put the pieces together. Every day, people are in the streets, starving to survive in any way. To meet all their need in this hard knock life. Never you give up that fight, that's right when you know you're right. Come day, come night, until you hit that land light. Life, you never can tell how the journey won't end. The same going where you left below with no friends. The mission getting tough and the vision getting rough. Strong go to survive with no gun, no one to depend. Never you give up, you got it striving to the end. Never you give up, cause you are deserve to end. Never you give up, never you give up. Never, 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 never you give up. Imagine this, Mr. Stone was going to this girl, Hoko War. Right from childhood, it was all misery, life of war. It all started when his style was becoming raw. Evil foes were making his friends to believe he was going insane. Just because he got to give himself a stage name. It was hell when they ran that first bell. From one half body to another, his heart break anytime he see the tears of his lovely mother. Seeing so many tortures he brutally received. All alone try to make her understand, but she didn't believe. His dad was a god type, a man who knows the street. He does believe in him, but he told him everything looks strict. Because he used to be confused, trying at it the way they initially predicted. After being traumatized and demonically manipulated by the black magic power of the so called Havalis, his heart under his desire tried to work for his money. This happened much of time before his teenager and middle twenties. Through God's divine intervention, yeah, everything got all well. He went through unbearable pain, it was all hell. He didn't give up. Yeah, in life, you never can tell how the journey won't end. This ain't going where you left it low with no friends. The mission's getting tough and the vision's getting rough. Strong to survive with the gun, no one to depend. Never you give up, you got it striving to the end. Never you give up, cause we all deserve to end. Never you give up, never you give up. Never, 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 never you give up. Never you give up, taking that cream. Never you give up, chasing that dream. No matter how impossible it may seem. We got everything possible what we believe So just keep that faith One day you will receive So don't get deceived When things ain't going well Like you're dwelling in hell Even though you find yourself inside the four walls of the jail cell You gotta think about the future Never you regret or sweat No matter the weather Think as it get better If you walk one mind together Life is full of guns and roses It's what Jesus said No matter how dark night may see There must be a bright day after that Is what Pac said you ain't gotta give up, homie. Keep chasing that dream of yours. Life, you never can tell how the journey won't end. This ain't going where you left it low with no friends. The mission very tough and the vision very rough. Strong go to survive with the gun, no one to depend. Never you give up, you got this fighting to the end. Never you give up, cause you all deserve to end. Never you give up. Never you give up, never, 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 never. In life, you never can tell how the journey will end. This ain't going where you left it low with the friends. The mission's very tough and the vision's very rough. Strong way to survive with your gun, no one to depend. Never you give up, you got to striving to the end. Never you give up, cause we all deserve to end. Never you give up, never you give up. Never, 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 never you give up. All the shit I've been through Cause I came out the slums And all the people withdrew If God is real I wonder where the fuck Did he come from What gave him rights to end life With no more hope to live twice Which forces you to live right Or even try cause shit's tight Trying to get fed by midnight Hoping one day a big night Surrounded by them big lights Niggas get robbed to get right I was just trying to get sight In the darkest of the views Niggas living broke So they end up on the news Taking niggas shoes Cause his daughter needed food Soaking niggas up Like a shower or a pool So I listen to the streets The only place where you will lose But I was trying to gain a little bit of fame so that shorty i'ma shoot a falling young nigga never playing by the rules trying to be first class but we all dropped out of school yeah 
Can you feel it? A young nigga feeling so hurt. Can you heal it? But healing doesn't really solve shit. Can you kill it? Bottled up inside of my body. Can you seal it? You feel it? Damn. Can you feel it? A young nigga feeling so hurt. Can you heal it? But healing doesn't really solve shit. Can you heal it? Bottled up inside of my body. Can you seal it? You feel it? Sitting in my room thinking. Irritation growing fast, but I've been blinking. In the sky, I see a beacon. Look beyond that, astronomical thoughts flood my mind now. I'm too high, no need to climb down. Looked at my wrist, it's finally my time now. Over exaggerated competition, need to calm down. They material sad enough to make a clown frown, yeah. And I do this for my grandma, nigga. Nobody else. Read a book, book a nigga, have them sitting like some shelves. Short enough, no elf. Wealth and knowledge is what I seek. That ignorance leak from a young minded mink, it's me. Kid, bid for your life, but don't gamble to be big. I'm at the top, no lid. Darkness in the light, nigga, it's just well hid. Say what you said or do what you did. Knowledge is power. Why can't? The power of a team. And we're going to find that at chrisbrady.typepad.com slash my underscore red blog slash 2008 slash 04 slash the dash power dash of dash a dot html. Learning leadership and people skills is necessary to function properly within a team. A team of people has tremendous power and potential if the participants are aligned in common purpose and dedicated to working toward the collective benefit of the group. Something wonderful happens as individuals strive together for common achievement and accomplishment commodity. As people work together, keeping their egos in check, working for the best ideas and holding back their own personal agendas while searching for an overall group agenda, momentum builds. The relationships between the team members strengthens and the production ideas and results are greater than the sum of the individual efforts. As McDonald's founder Ray Kroc said, quote, none of us is as good as all of us, end quote. The challenge with many people is being able to work within a team. They lack in the required people skills, confidence, or patience. They have to have their way or see their own idea advance and become a disruption to the healthy functioning of the team as their position promenades. After a while, they are eject, either rejected from the team's activities, shunned, or the team becomes their personal dogmatic domain and fails to function as a synergistic group anymore. Another type of behavior destructive to teams is private conversations, gossip, or people too cowardly to address issues directly and publicly with the team or its members. Instead, they go around behind the scenes, voicing their dissent and stirring up discord among the brethren. Political factions develop, feelings are hurt, and unhealthy competition for power, position, or prestige within the team develops. Again, under these conditions, as a team deteriorates and loses out on the powers of combined efforts, I have been involved with both types of teams, those that function well and those that don't. The difference in the results between the two are not even in the same hemisphere. What made that difference was the people involved, selfless, motivated, humble, energized, patient, caring people make the best teams. Often, unfortunately, One bad apple can spoil to the whole mix. It only takes a little bit of arsenic to spoil a cake. If you are fortunate enough to be involved in a team setting in some aspect of your life, strive to be the best teammate you can. Be a contributor, not a dictator or a detractor. (laughs) Deal open-handedly, not behind the scenes. Mean what you say and say what you mean. Listen and appreciate the differences that others bring to the group. Be willing to change your opinion about something if presented with new information. A quote I recently heard said, quote, the world belongs to those who are willing to change their mind when presented with new facts, end quote. I can't tell you how many times I've gone into a team situation with a certain idea of what should be done or accomplished. But after hearing the great ideas and inputs of others, became convinced that my idea was not the best. Many times I became convinced that my idea wasn't even any good. Sometimes my ideas are carried, but more often than not, some 
amalgamation of everybody's ideas became the best idea. These situations are fun, energizing and rewarding. Working as part of a team can be one of the best experiences people can have, or it can be among the worst. The only part of the experience you can control is your own contribution and behavior. Be a team player and get ready for some rich experiences. And don't be surprised if at some point along the way, you are called upon to take the lead. And that is our quote for the day. Chris Brady at Rasco tweets, if you practice kindness today, you might actually be good at it by tomorrow. And if you do not exert discipline over your finances, your finances will exert discipline over you. So that's really all I had to say. Good afternoon, morning and evening. And I will see you soon on the next show. Announcements will follow tomorrow with the Miss Fab Project. Check in on Fridays to hear the rest of the Miss Fab documentary called the Who is Miss Fab? Miss Fabulous Project. I'll see you soon, guys. Peace. We are now transferring you to a customer care room. Please close the line and we will answer your call as soon as possible. Thank you for choosing. By the way, to ensure you're getting great service, your call may be recorded or monitored.